Hello guys, this is the lecture of CWI Part A Fundamentals. The first thing you need to do is go to AWS, the homepage, which is here. Uh, just type www.aws.org and you see the, the first page of the homepage is here and click certification. And you see the page of here, you click professional certification. And then you find the certified warding inspector CWI and click this. And here certification program, blah, blah, blah. But go a little further and find CWI exams information. Here it shows a CWI candidate is required to pass the three CWI exams to achieve the CWI certification, which is Part A, Fundamentals exam, and Part B, Practical exam, and Part C, Codebook. And I'm introducing this Part A, Fundamentals exam. And here, Part A, Fundamentals exam, uh, it shows the part A fundamental exam con contains 150, 150 questions that cover all topics related to the following. Destructive testing, fabrication math, safety in welding, pathology, non-destructive testing, understanding welding symbols, WPS PQR, welding fundamental. So here, click here, uh, CWA part A fundamental English exam information. The other country, other than the North America, click this one. CWA Part A Fundamental Language Assisted Exam con Content. But here I, I'm going to click the CWA Part A Fundamental English Exam Information. Then it shows the PDF file. Information, Wording Society, CWI Part A Fundamentals, English Examination Information, and Contents, Examination Requirements, Examination Delivery, Test Specifications, Informative References for Self-Education, References for Taking the Examination, Exam Type, Pre-Testing, Total number of questions of the examination and allotted time to complete the CWA Part A examination, the passing score examination, question types, sample questions for CWA Part A fundamentals examination, sample question one, sample question two. So this is the contents, but the the thing we need to focus on is this one content area. This is minimum percent of the question and exam. So number one is definition and terminology. Definition and terminology. And number two is wording processes, such as GTAW, SMAW, GMAW, symbols, wording and NDE, world examination, wording performances, and test method NDE, heat control, methodology, carbon and low alloy steel, wording related calculations, duties and responsibilities, destructive tests, and cutting. So these 11 categories. And definition and terminology, 12%. Wording process, 12%. Symbols, 10%, and blah, blah, blah. So we need to focus on these topics. I'm going to show you later the uh, Wording Inspection Technology, which is the book of the CW Part A, later. And the next thing you need to look at is total number of questions. The total number of questions is 150, 150 questions, and scoreboard is 150 questions, and 15 questions are unscorable. 
So total 165 questions. Here it introduces one. Uh, there is a there are 165 questions in the CWA Part A exam. But personally, I think there is there are uh, 150 questions actually. Anyway, you're gonna serve the 150 questions in the CWI Part A uh, uh, exam during the exam. And passing score is successful candidates must correctly answer 72% of the question to pass CWI Part A exam. And these are the uh, things you need to focus. And I'm going to go to sample question. OK. Sample question number one. Which of the following represents a classification of SAW flux? This SAW means submerged arc welding, and flux is the welding consumable. So SAW uses this flux and the, the classification of the SAW flux is, what is it? Uh, number uh, A, active, and B, low alloy, C, nickel based, and D, slag. So number B is low alloy. This is the material. And C, again, this is material, nickel-based alloy. And D is slag. Is after welding, as SAW, after welding, you, you can see the some kind of uh, shell, which is the slag after welding. So these are not the correct answer. But this A, number A, active, active and neutral non-active something like that that's the saw flux classification so you choose number a active and here it says uh, the correct answer is a and here's some uh, description and sample question number two which of the following is represented by the welding symbol in the figure? And the figure shows the T-joint. And the welding symbol shows uh, one first the fillet weld. This triangular symbol is the fillet weld. And the lower part, triangular symbol, again the fillet weld, but 3 8 inches and 1 4 inches. So this is these are the flat word symbols. So when you solve the problem question, you choose the flat word, flat word, flat word, flat word, A, B, C, D, or flat word. Then this is upper part and lower part double. So possible answer could be double, double, double. This A, B, C, and then focus on this numbers one fourth and three eighth then this is these are unequal unequal this is just description double leg flat word so possible the best answer is unequal unequal double Fill words. So possible answer. The best answer could be C. Then let's check the answer. So blah blah blah. The unequally sized, which is answer choice C. The possible answer, the right answer, can be this C. These are the sample questions of the CWI Part A fundamentals. There are a lot of questions, sample questions, and. Uh, practice questions so if you need the practice question let me know then I'm gonna wrap up this uh, introduction um, lecture here okay thank you very much uh, I'll uh, see you next time